I witnessed firsthand the exploitation of animal cruelty and dogfighting by a variety of people and organizations that claim to oppose animal cruelty and dogfighting. I saw how they exploit animal suffering in order to benefit themselves or their organizations financially and in other ways. There is an enormous amount of animal cruelty in this world. I do not believe the concern regarding the Yulin Dog Eating Festival is about much more for many other than generating publicity for themselves and using the festival as an opportunity to generate more publicity and money. There are other animals and species that no one cares about that are subject to enormous cruelty. No one shines a light or intervenes because the cruelty cannot be used in a way as a way of generating publicity, money, and profit. People are unfortunately very selective regarding which animals they care about and which animals they could care less about, even if the cruelty for all is equal. People and organizations follow the money trail. Where there is indifference, there is no money to be made. Not only did I witness firsthand the exploitation of animal cruelty and dogfighting, but I also witnessed the lack of efficacy, even, at, even harm at times, from a, from a number of people, of people and organizations that claim to speak for animals. I wish there was full disclosure as to how much money these organizations raise for themselves by claiming to address animal cruelty and dogfighting and what is their actual efficacy. I am still waiting for the day when there is accountability regarding the efficacy and worthiness of these organizations. My offer to debate any of them regarding efficacy still stands. I hope they are not as ineffective regarding ULIN as I have experienced them to be for American-based dogfighting and animal cruelty.